hold it if you want to pull it out. There we go. There you go. This has been such a beautiful day, and I have to give some very grand thank yous to all who helped make it happen. To my usherettes and my MC, my sorority fam and friends, thank you for all that you've done for, for today and all the times we've shared together. Thank you, Rachel, for your organization and execution of today. Your love, your support, and the friendship we've grown and will continue to share is something I'm the most grateful for. Thank you, Cheryl, for not only being my medical massage therapist after all my car driving issues, uh, but becoming my florist and my friend and help make today so beautiful. Thank you to all of our vendors, Britt, Alan, Shauna, Michaela, and their teams for capturing, hosting, and serving for our day. Thank you to my beautiful bridesmaids, who are without a doubt my best friends and who will continue to be there for us through every phase of our lives. Thank you to our groomsmen for supporting my husband through all the phases of our relationship. <clears throat> Thank you to my big sisters for being my everything through anything for always and being Brenda number two and number three. Uh, thank you, Kylie and Amy, for truly building a family I could not be more excited to join. And to my new little brothers and little sister, I promise to always be the life of the party. <laughs> thank you, Mom, Brenda number one, for creating such a confident and hilarious bread. <laughs> also, thank you for the cake and giving me a home to fail safely and the love to always help put me back together better than before. Thank you, Omi, for letting us share this amazing date with you and Papa. We hope to carry this day of love for our family for generations. To everyone in this beautiful room, you have all done so much to add love to our day and throughout different phases of our lives. Logan and I agreed that the people we wanted to invite to our wedding were those who met one qualification. They helped us make be better people. Each one of you did that at some point or another on our journey that has led us to each other and to today. And we're so thankful to make our love, our commitment, and the start of our family such a big deal. And we're so happy we get to celebrate with each of you. And for the person who has done the absolute least for this wedding, my husband, <laughs> and who has benefited the most, <laughs> Logan only had two inputs for this wedding. He wanted to wear dark gray, which he most definitely looks handsome, and to have the cake be fun, fetty flavored. <laughs> a lot of brides give their grooms a lot of flack for their lack of interest in colors and flowers and decorations. It was a lot of Oh, cool. Four. <laughs> Sounds good, babe. <laughs> Throughout the process, it was a lot of decisions and deadlines and having a dream I've had for years come to life. And what I really learned is that I don't need a wedding planner. I got that all figured out. All I really need is a husband. You may not have cared for the wedding, but you were more than prepared for this marriage. You are without a doubt the most qualified man I've ever met who will take on that title. For some context, the day Logan asked me to be his girlfriend, about four years ago, I told him about a promise I made to God for myself. It was that the next person that I say I love you to would be the man I would marry. Two months later, he said I love you. I remember the earth stopped spinning. I responded and I said, you remember what I said a while ago about that and what that means to me and he cut me off. He looked in my eyes and replied, I know what I said. From that moment, you've continued to pursue that promise of becoming my husband. We did not show up here by accident. We worked for this. Every letter, text, phone call, surprise at lunch, road trip, mountain climb, date night, family time, beaver game, <laughs> and apologizing, forgiving, growing, praying, dreaming, scheming, laughing, communicating, trying. We always tried our best, selflessly. We fell in love because we worked, and this marriage, with the grace of God, will stick because we will continue to work. We decided to live our dream life every day, and baby, it became a dream come true just to wake up next to you. Having you beside me through career changes, graduations, scary and joyous times, you not being there isn't even fathomable. The only thing that made this wedding a dream come true 
is you. Every day you have put me first, pursued me, prayed for me, and pushed yourself to become the great man God has created you to be. Thank you for not caring about our wedding and becoming the amazing husband I know you will be instead. So if everyone could please raise their glasses. <laughs> so here's to husbands. A groom for a day, a husband for a life. So who cares about the colors? Just love your wife. <laughs>